Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. This video is going to be a, a meal prep. It is going to set me up for success for the week. I noticed last week was the first 40 hour week that I've worked in the office, in the office 40 hours since March 2020. It was rough, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, and I was not ready for um, my lunches to be prepared, any type of snack things. So, you know, you go off the track whenever you're not prepared. So this week I wanted to set myself up for success. I'm going to be making some healthy snacks for the week. I'm going to make some a healthy breakfast for the week and just prep my fruits and produce like I normally do. Part of my meal prep is also writing out, finding recipes, writing out my grocery list um, and getting that all done. Today is Sunday. I did my grocery list and my grocery shopping yesterday. My grocery haul will be on Wednesday, so stick around for that. And that's how I'm going to prepare myself this week. I'm not going to be in the office a full 40 hours, but I still want to have breakfast, lunch, and snacks prepped. As far as dinner, I like to cook. I enjoy cooking, so I'm kind of going to leave that just to do it on each and individual a day. So um, right now it is Sunday morning. It is 1030. If you know, you know, I'm going to get Starbucks because I need my Starbucks. I didn't even have one yesterday. I, for me, yeah, I, I, I normally get one Starbucks a day, but I've been trying to cut back on Starbucks and eating my, or drinking my coffee at home. Maybe in this meal prep video, I did a TikTok. I'll look at, link it down below. I'm on TikTok. So if you want to follow me on there, information will be in the description box, but I showed how to make cold brew at home and it's delicious. It's delicious so maybe I'll show it in this video too but check out my TikTok down below it's mainly of my dogs and my daughter's dog it's just that kind I want kind of want to switch it towards the cooking just like this channel is so we'll see how that goes um but as far as that that is all for right now and like I said I'm gonna go get my Starbucks I'm probably gonna go to Target because Sunday mornings I always like to go to Target and just look around probably not going to buy much just want to look around if I do buy anything I'll show you in this video um but that, that is it like I said if you are new to my channel I am super excited you decided to click on this video uh, and I hope you stick around so check out my channel check out my videos I do grocery hauls shopping hauls I do shop with me's and I do a lot of cooking on this channel. So if you enjoy that type of content, stick around, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and become a part of my family. As my tagline says, my life to yours. So I hope you enjoy me on this journey or I hope you join me on this journey. So let's get on with the day. So this is me Saturday morning going over my menu for the week and writing down a shopping list. I always have a good idea what is in my pantry and refrigerator. I don't really have any back stock of items, so it is very easy for me to keep track of what I have on hand in my head. I also pin a lot of recipes to my Pinterest board. So I he here I am looking up those recipes and again seeing what I need to purchase at this for this week. This week I shopped at Aldi and Walmart. I normally just shop at Aldi, but there were a couple of things that I knew Aldi didn't carry, so I needed to go to Walmart. This specific grocery haul will be Wednesday's video, so make sure you stick around for that one. So the first thing I'm gonna meal prep is all of my produce here. I have some from last week, some new groceries that I just want to get washed and prepped. So they're readily available and I can use them and eat them and they're ready for me to cook with. So let's get to prepping them. So if you're a regular on my channel, what you know I do is fill my basin up, my sink basin up. I put whatever produce in the basin with some cold water and some white vinegar and I let it soak for about 10-15 minutes, dry them off and put them in my fridge. They seem to last longer that way for me.
So a question I get asked a lot is if the produce tastes like vinegar and no, it absolutely does not. Once I rinse it with the cold water, after I remove it from the vinegar water, it washes all that away. And then I place that the produce either on a clean towel or a clean drying mat like this one. So next I'm going to be making a vegan ranch dressing and I kind of, if you know me, I kind of put recipes together. I don't follow recipes <laughs> exactly to the T. So I will link below the two recipes that I use that I kind of mixed and matched. But what I'm going to use is some vegan um, plant-based mayo, some apple cider vinegar, some coconut milk. I should have gotten the full fat, but I only have the regular. Some chives and some dill some onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. So what I am going to do is chop up the dill and chop up the chives right now. tastes very very good so I think I am gonna honestly make another batch so uh, let's do this all again so I put the ranch in this glass jar and I will keep it in the fridge and it will last for about a week this is actually very very good pleasantly surprised <music> For lunches this week, I'm preparing a BLT salad. So I chopped up my bacon, I cooked it up, and then I cut up my produce, my cucumbers and green onions. You will see that I took the seeds out of the cucumbers. If I eat too many of them, they bother my stomach with the seeds. So I like to try to take that out when I can. When assembling the salads, I like to keep the components separate. I feel that they stay, the vegetables stay fresher that way. And for the dressing, I will be using the dairy-free ranch that I just made for these salads. be making some peanut butter energy bites these are going to be for snacks for the week so you're going to need some rolled oats some honey some peanut butter and some chocolate chips and basically all you do is mix all the ingredients together refrigerate for about 15 to 30 minutes and then you'll roll them into 12 bites and these will be a great and you'll store it in the fridge and these will be a great on-the-go snack for the week Now, like I said, I am going to prep some of my iced coffee. Again, I did a TikTok video on this that will be linked below, but I kind of have changed it up since then. This Cafe Bastello, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. It has espresso in it. So 
The way I made it on TikTok was very strong. I could, it made me wired. So I am going to up the amount of water and lower the amount of the espresso coffee. So what you need is one and a half ounces, and I have it measured out here, of this um, espresso coffee, three cups water, and you're gonna need coffee filters. So what you do is you place this, these grounds into the three cups of water. You place it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but it's in my TikTok video, um, you strain out the grounds. So I usually just get a fine mesh strainer and I place one of these inside the strainer and it's like a pour over. It, it um, drips down into a bowl and then there is your concentrated coffee. So basically you put in about half of the concentrated coffee, the rest water when you make your um, iced coffee and then your creamer. So. I am going to, well, hold on one minute so I don't spill the coffee grounds everywhere. Okay, I wanted to get my funnel so I don't make a mess everywhere. So you're gonna put in the coffee grounds in the water. Then you're gonna obviously want to mix this up very good. And like I said, put it in the refrigerator overnight so it steeps and it will be delicious trust me and it will save you money for going to Starbucks which I need I did meal prep a breakfast meal, but I am not going to show you the whole process in this video because it will be in an upcoming video soon, but wanted to show you the end result. This is a breakfast fried rice and OMG, it is delicious. You're gonna wanna stick around for this one. So the next thing that I am gonna prep is some no yeast pizza dough and it's also a vegan pizza dough. So what you're gonna need is some butter, some salt, some baking powder, some all-purpose flour, and some milk. I'm using oat milk, and I'm using dairy-free butter. And basically, you mix all the ingredients, form it into a um, dough ball, and this is also freezeable. I'm gonna see how much this makes. I don't know if this is one pizza. The recipe wasn't very specific. So um, as I am mixing it all together, then I will let you know if this is for one serving or if you can double it and make two servings, but let's get to it. So into a mixing bowl, I added all my dry ingredients, then I added my wet ingredients, and then I just mixed it up by hand. It was pretty easy. It was very sticky, so I did have to add a little bit more flour to my hands to try to get it to form into a dough ball, but this was quick and easy. made this before this um, is a very sticky dough which I think it's supposed to be like that it's better I added a tiny bit more flour as I was rolling it to try to make it a little less sticky but it obviously is enough for one pizza so if you're going to meal prep this and want to have more in the freezer you definitely can double, triple, quadruple the ingredients. But for my purposes, since it's just me, I am actually gonna cut this in half. So I will have one to freeze. And I'm actually going to use it tonight for dinner. Just make sure you get out as much air as possible so it doesn't freezer burn just like that sorry this video ended so abruptly but i want to thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one everyone bye bye